the news. Now let's move to details from the Independent Electoral Commission where commissioners who spectacularly resigned four months ago have sneaked back to office causing more confusion in the electoral body even as audit, uh, audit queries rather over the August 8th election start to emerge. It is not clear what the two commissioners who left publicly but returned silently were doing at the offices but their presence had raised so many questions, the answers as well. And here is KTN's Brian Abuya with details of that story. The commissioners who announced their resignation from the electoral body mid-April included IBC Vice Chair Connie Miner, Paul Kurgat, and Margaret Mochanya. And early Friday, they returned to their offices in a discreet and troubled manner. Details on the return of the two commissioners were not made clear, and as journalists remained put at the anniversary towers waiting for word from the commission, so did the two commissioners. They locked themselves in their offices and avoided coming face to face with the media for the better part of the afternoon. Sources told Katie News that Kurgat had also been spotted at the building's basement at some point. In April, the trio, Minor, Machanya and Kurgat, left the commission in a half over what they called lack of confidence in their chair, Wafula Chepkati. The trio told the country the commission's boardroom had become a venue for peddling misinformation and that Chebukati was crumbling for and chasing his individual glory and credit. We find our position as commissioners under his leadership no longer tenable. In his defense, Chebukati told the country that the commissioners were engaging in a witch hunt. Discrediting my name and that of my commissioners still in office is in bad taste and perpetuates an ill agenda that can only undermine the independence of this critical institution. The move by the commissioners to return to their offices could have been prompted by a high court ruling earlier this month declaring their resignation null and void. Justice Wilfrida Okwani faltered the process of resignation saying the commissioners only resigned through the media. However, Legal practitioners like Kirwa Koske thinks that that was enough resignation. It is upon the commissioners themselves to know that they are both accountable to the nation. They are not accountable to the appointing authority. They are also accountable to the nation. The mere fact that they appeared before the public and stated that they've resigned, they should do it procedurally. They should stick to what they did. They should tender their resignation properly before the appointing authority. If the commissioners did not resign, what law then was broken, if any? And what does this mean for the commissioners and the commission at large? We, we want the commission to be able to inform the public as to whether these uh, commissioners were receiving their salaries, yet they had already expressed that they've resigned and uh, if they've not been receiving their salaries uh, then indeed the commission had accepted that they had resigned and the government to a certain extent must have accepted their resignation months out of office apparently after having resigned the commissioners are back at the anniversary towers not to formalize their resignation but because they say they are equally commissioners. This even as confusion and speculation continue to shroud the forces behind the suckers. With the return of the duo who left publicly but returned privately and silently, things seem back to normal at the anniversary towers. Or are they? Brian Obuya, KTN News.